So this research was about the lemurs of Madagascar and especially their evolutionary tree. We know that more than 90% of living lemurs are actually threatened with extinction today, right? So it's really important to know what drove extinct the lemurs of the past, the ones that have already gone extinct, so that we can do something and apply that knowledge to the lemurs of today. So the type of research I did was called a total evidence approach, where I used both the anatomical data from the skeletons as well as genetic data from living species to uh, try to understand the evolutionary tree with those two data types together. And this research is giving us new insights about the, the timing of evolution, when the lemur species started to evolve, as well as how the differences in their features, like these uh, giant long skulls, uh, evolved. When James came to the lab, he uh, has a background and he's been wanting to work in Madagascar. So James has really been the driving force behind the focus on the lemurs. So this kind of research is important because understanding the evolutionary tree lets us place all the species relative to one another. So we are primates and understanding how we fit into the evolutionary tree with lemurs helps us to understand how our entire group evolved. For example, the lemurs have many traits that are very different from what humans and monkeys have. And so to try and understand how those changes occurred, we need to have an evolutionary tree. The most important finding and the most important advance of this evolutionary tree of lemurs is that we have all the fossil lemurs, all the lemurs that have gone extinct, and all the branches of the living lemurs today all together in one evolutionary tree. And this had been tried before, but it couldn't include the kinds of data that we include in this. And that's something that before couldn't be done by integrating all of the data coming out of those fossils. That's the key thing that hadn't been, it, it wasn't possible. The techniques weren't there to do that before. The next step in this research is to use the evolutionary tree to help us understand both the past and the future of lemurs. This includes figuring out how often populations of lemurs split up and became different species, but also how often populations and, and species of lemur went extinct in the past, even before the arrival of humans in Madagascar.